The tower is, is, in my mind, is as famous as the race car. Because the tower has been stationary since Welch had his factory there. And they painted the race car home of the Novi Special. They built this incredible engine, you know, that roared and ran, it was fast, and it had that high siren pitch. It's our logo. They use it, the city uses it on everything. They got stained glass, they got every place, t-shirts. And the tower was right where the plant used to be. So that whole thing, that whole lore, that whole thing about the race car started right here. You can see the tower from along Novi Road, very close to the intersection of Grand River and Novi, almost across from the Novi Cemetery just jumps out at you right away. And it is a unique piece of art and design and graphic. So I can't take the credit for the idea of acquiring the property of the water tower. That really came from city council. It was their initiative and their vision. In 2017, the city purchased the property that the water tower is on with the intent of potentially that being a park in the future. But one of the first things that we needed to do was refurbish the water tower itself. Uh, in my mind, it should look like it looks now, only new, and let it now start a whole new era of aging. You know, the aging process now, it, it looks kind of harried. But you know, there's two sides of that coin. It looks cool because it looks like an antique, but on the other side, it's going to look worse and worse. And the longer you let it get to the point where it's at a point of no return, you're not going to be able to get it back to that, that look. When you drove by there in the past, you saw that it was brown and, you know, maybe a, a rusty orange color. That, that was actually rust. It got weathered and it got weathered and now it's an eyesore. I said, let's see if we can refurbish it and um, I'll contact my people at PPG and see if they still remember me. So thanks to Novi resident Larry Ciancio, he brokered a deal with PPG to get the paint donated to the city to complete the project. My understanding is Larry formerly worked with PPG, and so he had that tie. And PPG, their representatives feel that this could be a showcase project for their company and their products. PPG recommended a paint that would be a long lasting and very vibrant. Um, it's actually funny, the painter did say, just be prepared for that because it's gonna look different. So as we dove into it, we realized that we wanted to get it back to an original blue color and uh, really do think it pops and uh, looks really nice now. I've had a lot of people already comment that it's just really impressive and it looks great and they like some of the changes that were made to the graphic of the car itself. It gave the community something to identify with, even if they weren't race fans, because it's a pretty good part of Americana. I mean, you got the Indianapolis 500, the World Series, the Super Bowl, Kentucky Derby, uh, that's Americana. I mean, in the 500, we have an element of that Americana at the time was as big as it gets. It was the biggest. Everybody in the nation, maybe the world for that matter, knew about the Novi's. I think the future of the site is pretty open-ended. You know, we want to see what happens with Main Street and the continued development down there, and I think that'll dictate what that park might look and feel like in the future. There were a lot of moving pieces with this, and there were a lot of people involved, so thanks to all, it was a privilege to be the project manager on it, and I'm glad people are pleased with the end result.